Now, what is the answer for this question? Question number three, please tell me. The correct answer for this question is, of course, option number C, which is equal to 1.5 minutes. Okay, let's see. It says on a 20 kilometer tunnel connecting two cities A and B, there are three cutters. Okay. On a 20 kilometer tunnel connecting between two cities. So, this is a yeah, tunnel of length 20 kilometers. So, let me write down tunnel. Its length A and B. There are three gutters. The distance between gutter 1 and gutter 2. So, I say, let's say there is a gutter 1. Mark this point at G1. And the gutter 2. Let's say this is equal to G2. It says the distance from city A. Okay, the distance between gutter 1 and gutter 2 is half the distance between gutter 2 and gutter 3. Let's say there is a somewhere in life a gutter 3. Okay, so if I am assuming the distance between gutter 1 and gutter 2 is equal to Y, then the distance between gutter 2 and gutter 3 will be equal to 2Y. Is that clear to all of you? Okay. Now, the distance from the city A to its nearest gutter 1 is equal to the distance of city B from the gutter 3. Okay. So, let's say from A to gutter 1, the distance is x. So, from B to gutter 3, the distance is also x. Is that clear to all of you? Please tell me yes or no. Now, after that, it says, On a particular day, the hospital in city A receives information that an accident has happened at the third gutter. So, the point of accident is nothing but <coughs> the third gutter. So, this is where the accident happened at G3. The victim can be saved only if an operation is started within 40 minutes. An ambulance from city A. So, from city A, an ambulance will start. Okay. An ambulance from, started from city A at a speed of 30 km per hour okay. and crossed the first gutter after 5 minutes. Okay. So, the time taken to travel a distance x is equal to nothing but that is equal to 5 minutes. Is that clear to all of you? The time taken to travel from A to G1 is 5 minutes. Okay. If the driver had doubled the speed after that, after that, from at this particular point, the speed is become nothing but as equal to 60 km per hour. Okay. What is the maximum amount of the time the doctor would get to attend the patient at the hospital? Assume one minute is elapsed for taking the patient into and out of the ambulance. Okay. Now tell me one thing, what is distance x? The distance x is traveled in 5 minutes. So, can you say x, the distance x, it is always equal to speed into time. So, speed is 30 km per hour. So, 30 km per hour. So, can you convert into terms of minutes or 30 km per hour? So, in terms of minutes, it will be, comes out to be how much? Tell me. Okay. Your 1 by 12. Okay. Or 5 minutes. So, 5 minutes, I can say that is equal to 1 by 12. 5 minutes is equal to 1 by 12. So, I am getting 30 by 12 which is equal to 2.5. So, x is equal to 2.5. So, I can write down x is equal to 2.5. Okay. So, here also 2.5. Okay. So, x a to g1 is 2.5. g3 to b is also 2.5. So, what is the total distance from g1 to g3? 3y. So, can you see from here we will be getting that 3y. It is equal to how much? That is 15 and y is equal to 5. Any doubts to anyone? And the total distance is now 20. Is that clear to all of you? Okay. All right. Now, so tell me what is the time taken from G1 to G3? Okay, so I'm writing down time taken to travel G1, G3. Okay, the total distance is equal to 15. Okay, 15 kilometer upon speed of the train. The speed of the train is now 60. So, 15 by 60, that is equal to nothing but that is 1 by 4 hour, which is equal to 15 minutes. Okay. So, the total time taken to travel from G1 to G3, that is the time taken from G1, G2 plus time taken from G2, G3, that will be equal to 2.5 plus, sorry, uh, 5 plus 15. 
that is 5 plus 15 which is equal to 20 minutes. Any doubts to anyone? And while coming back, while coming back, the what is the time taken? While coming back, the time taken it will be equal to total distance is equal to 10 plus 5, 15 plus 2.5, that is 17.5 with a speed of 60. 17.5 kilometer. So for 17.5 kilometer with a speed of 60, so that can I say that will take 17.5 minutes? Yes or no? Because the speed is 60 km per hour, which is same as I can say that is equal to 1 km per minute. So while coming back, it needs to travel 17.5 km. So to travel 17.5 km, the time needs time taken by them will be 17.5 minutes. Is that clear to all of you? Please respond. Okay. So 17.5 minutes. So the total time which he has taken till now, it is equal to 20 plus 17.5. And it will take one minute to take out the pass there. So plus one more. So that is 20 plus 17.5 plus one. That is equal to 38.5 minutes. So how much time he has to save the patient? That is definitely the answer is 1.5 minutes. 40 minus 38.5, which is 1.5 minutes. So is that clear to all of you now? Any doubt? So can we move to the next question? If this is clear.